Ah, models. Where are they? Ah, wrong sort of models. But the right kind of models if you're into cars. Well, we sell model cars, as you can see. Mm. The shop's been here for something like 25 years. In right. St. Lane, so we're quite established. Um, we mainly deal in models for the collectors, specialist stuff. And you can get virtually anything that anyone would want mm. if I said Bristol 403, 401, 403 models. I would say no, actually. Um, has there ever been a nice there model? There has, yeah. I think people think that there's going to be models of every single car that's made. Right. But unfortunately, there isn't. There. Obviously, the tooling is so expensive yeah. that the companies have to think, well, I've got to be able to sell quite a few versions of this. So, mm. i.e., the Bristol is a car that hasn't got a very big following. So yeah. the tooling for a Ferrari, for instance, will be exactly the same as it would be for the Bristol. Well, here's a car that you ne I never thought I would see as a model. Renault Spider. And look at the price. It just goes to show that you don't have to spend hundreds of pounds to get into collecting model cars. Here's another one that I never thought I'd see a model of, Caterham Superlight R. All for a bargain price. They have a, a, a system called photo etching, mm -hmm. which is very, very fine pieces of metal that they can make windscreen wipers and spoke wire wheels so fine that they're, they're actually in scale to the size of the model in comparison. And also, over the years, paint technology has got much better. A lot of the companies that we buy models from have huge spray boosts, like car spray boosts, with guys in masks and breathing apparatus, and it's moved on a lot in the and last 15 years. what material do they use for the, for the bodies? Of the uh, mainly, well, there's three. There's die-cast metal, white metal, and uh, also resin are the main three. And white metal would be what? What's it's kind of like, um, people think it's lead, but it isn't. It's actually an al alim mix, mm -hmm. and it's normally very heavy, mm -hmm. which is, you know, you pick a model up in 43rd scale, and it feels like you're yes. really getting your money's worth for. Whereas resin ones are extremely light, but they, for some unknown reason, can get really, really good detail in resin right. models. Just to show the variation in metal ready-built cars, that children from six years upwards could actually play with, I have an Audi TT Roadster. Not even available in this country yet. Or, if that's too prosaic for you, Porsche 917 of the past. Remember Steve McQueen's Le Mans film? Absolutely stunning racing car. And again, Audi Avis concept car. Fully chromed body. Suit you, sir. Here's a fantastic model of a brilliant British motorbike from the 50s, Vincent Black Shadow. I never thought I'd see such an exquisite model. And here it is. This shop is an absolute Aladdin's cave. It's been here 25 years. Long may it continue for another 25 years. This is Richard Fines on Fines Fines.